Hey guys, so it's Josh from the Review Brothers here, and today I'm going to be doing a solo review, haven't done one of those in a while, eh? Haha, <laughs> yeah, of um, La La Land, one of my favorite film, my favorite film of 2016, and regardless of what you put up in front of it, I literally just saw the movie Fences, the film Fences, fantastic, phenomenal film, still does not compare to La La Land. La La Land is one of the best, is my best film of 2016, and one of the best films of 2016, and I'm guaranteeing a Best Picture nomination for it. So with all that hype and buzz, let's get into the review. Here's to the ones who dream, is one of the lines from a song in the modern day musical, La La Land, which is written and directed by Damien Giselle. This is Damien's second film. The director of 2014's critically acclaimed Whiplash returns to the silver screen with a modern take on, the, on a Hollywood musical. La La Land is set in the future but brings back a time-tested and old-school tradition, gen traditional genre of film and it's mixed with a modern-day twist. It stars Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, J.K. Simmons, John Legend, Kelly Hen Hernandez, Sonia Minzo, Rosemary Dewitt. See? The so there's so many talented actors and actresses in this film. And there's even more and more and more. And if I go on and on and on, it's going to take forever. So that's the main cast of this film. This film is genius and brilliant. It's a genius and brilliant piece of cinema. Very clever and witty at times. And in certain cases, because sometimes the joke, there was a lot of humor in this. There are so many small intricate details layered onto every scene of this film. The story and visuals are just a treat to look at. La La Land is a trip down memory lane for some. Even if not a trip down memory lane, then a trip, then a treat for all fans of good cinema. And for a new, newer generation, a gateway. Into, into new stories, settings, and characters, waiting to be discovered. La La Land is so different and so original than anything that came out in 2016. It's hard to sum up this film in words, honestly. Because it was an absolutely amazing film. Sorry about this. I love watching films, but... Honestly, nothing really floored me in this year, in 2016, as much. Because a lot of things that did floor me... But nothing floored me as much as seeing La La Land. I watch every genre of film, but I recently started really enjoying musicals, some of my favorites being The Sound of Music, Grease, West Side Story. Naturally, I loved La La Land because the film had everything that had like everything. I'm gonna say everything, like, I'm gonna say this. The film had, sorry about that, um, my battery got low. Uh, but re, like, just the film had everything that made me fall in love with old school musicals in the first place. La La Land was the perfect homage and tribute to classic musical cinema of yesteryear. While still managing to create a completely different and unique story that is entertaining and enjoyable to watch. The characters, dynamics, and personalities are so different and both Gosling and Stone's charismatic charisma and chemistry lights up the screen. La La Land is my favorite film of 2016 in my opinion and the best film of 2016 in my opinion. It's got so much buzz in Oscar talks, and I can definitely see why. Now let's get into my pros and cons for this film. I'm going to start with my pros. My first pro for this film is the cinematography. It's absolutely breathtaking and was actually shot on Panavision and Cinemascope, which is a camera lens used in film from 1953 to 1973. It's truly a beautiful cinematic treat for the eyes. As a film lover, it's, very enter it's a very entertaining experience to see a modern day film that is filmed in such a unique way. My second pro for this film is the acting and choreography. La La Land is, perfectly, is a perfectly cast film with a perfect cast and perfectly timed choreography. This film had perfect timing with its choreography and in a few points in this film, like half the cast performs in tableau. It's truly something to, that you have to watch to understand and be able to enjoy. This is more than just a film. It's an experience. It's, per, it's a performance. Finally, my final pro for this film was the music. Everything sounds incredible, and from beginning to end, the music is the true star of this film. It holds the story together, it tells the story through the music, and builds the characters around it, as all good musicals should. But La La Land did it exceptionally well. I found every song or musical composition was fantastic, and it had so much depth and originality. 
Now for my cons for this film. I couldn't find anything wrong with this film because everything was done with so much time, effort, and passion that this film didn't really have any cons that I could see. And I will see it again and I will think of that over and maybe I'll have a update review in a few years. But I, I think I'd, I'm, I'd lo it's something I'd love to watch over and over again because it never gets boring and you find new things about it every time. But I couldn't really find anything wrong with it. I'm sure other people have found things wrong with this film. But I found this film was well worth watching and I couldn't find anything really wrong with it. Overall, La La Land is a homage and tribute to classic musical cinema of yesteryear. La La Land is a uniquely different and enjoyable film that will keep you entertained and intrigued throughout. It's personally my favorite film of 2016 and my pick to win the best picture at the Oscars. This year, I, th this year, you know. I'm giving La La Land a 9 out of 10 popcorns, my highest rating I've given to any film this year. It's a fantastic film, and honestly, if you're looking to get something that's like, just so different and unique from anything that you've seen this year, that's not action-packed, that's not filled with just full-on comedy, that's smart, witty, and at times dramatic, and so, and so subtle with its presentation and so unique with its choreography and so original with its music. If you want something that's just original and unique and fun to watch, fun to experience, La La Land is the perfect film for you. In so many ways it encapsulates a whole new genre of film that I'd like to see which is the musical genre that is an original musical. Like, a genre of original musicals that will span just tons and tons and tons and tons of different musical content. I love musicals. And personally, this is one of my favorite that I've seen, like, not just of this year. Because there wasn't a lot of musicals this year. But there, there were a few, I guess. I couldn't really tell. I didn't see many. I just heard a, a lot of buzz about this. And I gave it a chance. And honestly, I think anyone should, even if they don't like musicals, should give this a chance. Now, of course, if you like musicals more than the next the next person, then you're going to like it a little bit more. But in general, just for a, a fan of this good cinema, like I said before, you will have fun with this. And it's not something that's just for musical buffs that are fans of just musical films. Anyways, guys, this has been Josh from the Review Brothers telling you to like, comment, and subscribe to the Review Brothers. Peace.